Good afternoon, everyone. I'm really sorry that I couldn't be with you here today discussing the importance of the first thousand days. I'm Sophie Howe. I'm the Future Generations Commissioner for Wales, and I want to talk to you briefly about how I think the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act is absolutely front and centre to what we need to be doing in terms of investing in those first thousand days. I hope you'll all be aware of the Act, it's internationally groundbreaking, but it also poses a big challenge to us about how we deliver and plan public services here in Wales. And I think there's no better example of what the Act is trying to achieve than thinking about that need to invest in the early years and of course the linked issue of tackling adverse childhood experiences. We all know that investment now um, in early years pays long-term dividends and if we think about just tackling ACEs, the cost to society of tackling ACEs is estimated to be around £17 billion. So working to prevent those things from occurring in the first place um, really makes financial sense um, as, well, as well as moral and ethical sense. We all know that prevention is better than cure, so we need to be investing in those first thousand days, making sure that we're keeping um, mum uh, healthy during her pregnancy, making sure that children have the best start in life um, in, those, um, in those early years. And we also need to be thinking about the range of issues which contribute to giving our children the best start in life. So if we think that um, the first thousand days are the domain of midwives and health visitors, then I think we're getting it wrong because a healthy start in life, of course, means that mum and family need to have access to good quality, fresh food. They need to be um, helped to ensure that they're not living in poverty. They need to live in a safe home, which is free from domestic abuse and substance misuse. And they need to have access to a good quality environment and good, good quality air. To do this, we must all work together. So it's not the domain of one public service um, or another, it's all of our responsibilities. What we're talking about here is not really delivering um, wholly new services, but doing what we do already better. Making And in doing that, it's absolutely critical that we're involving people in the decisions that are taken on their behalf, whether that's planning um, major services or whether that's in terms of um, individual support, because nobody knows better um, what needs to be done to tackle the issues they're challenging than the people in the middle of those issues themselves. I think the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act provides a real opportunity for us here in Wales to be tackling um, early years investment and to be making sure that we're tackling adverse childhood experiences. I recently reviewed all 19 of the Public Service Board's draft wellbeing plans. The Public Service Boards are organisations that have come together representing all of the key public services in each local authority area and they're coming together to plan um, and prioritise issues for action where they all need to work together. All 19 of them set priorities around giving children the best start in life or some more specifically on tackling adverse childhood experiences and that presents a real opportunity for you, the professionals who know what needs to be done to address these issues, know where the investment needs to go to make sure that we're preventing problems from occurring, to be providing advice and taking action to meet those priority objectives of the Public Service Board. So your job is to come together, to work with your PSB, to learn from each other, um, and I hope you've been doing that today, to find new ways, of, um, new ways of working, better ways of integrating our services, and better ways of ensuring that we're thinking holistically about how we invest now for future generations. Thank you, Adi Achenvaur.